Good, Good morning, morning once again from the future. We look the same. That's true. <laughs> YouTube magic. Mm. Yeah, it is time for our Catalina Island experience. Now, today we decided to do a tour that we had done before. Right. The Bison Tour, Catalina Island Conservancy. This is booked independently. Yes. Um, our friend Sarah, we met up with her. She lives nearby. She had never. Ferry oh, over. True. She had never done this tour before. We had to show her. It's really cool. Yeah. So we wandered around. I don't know how much footage I had of the actual wandering around, but I got a good amount of, you know, hanging out with the bison, driving around and all that. So let's get into Catalina Island. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Saturday. It is tender time. Step one, go to Rolling Stone and collect tender tickets. Well, we've grabbed our number. They've given us one, even though I know some vessels have gone. But anyway, ready to ride. All right, down to deck A. Hey, well, one of the few times I am happy to be in a lifeboat. Welcome to slightly foggy Avalon, Catalina Island. Now, peering out through this fog, we see a vessel that we think is the Catalina Express. We're hanging out with our friend Sarah today, and she should be on this vessel. We love you, Sarah. Get over here, Sarah. <laughs> there she is. I mean, the, the vessel. Not, not Sarah yet. She's in there somewhere. Gosh, we're looking at some orange fish out here doing some air snorkeling. Wow, I've never seen fish like that. Pacific fish. And now let the wandering begin. <laughs> We've come over to a little place called Pete's that wasn't uh, too busy. We decided to start off with some breakfast beverages today. <laughs> Sarah has gone with a country cyclone, I think it was called. It's going to make your head spin? It's going to make my head spin. Okay. I got the, I think it was called Catalina Buffalo Milk. It's a frozen, it's some buffalo turds in there too. It's got creme de, uh, it has banana, coffee, chocolate, all these flavors in there. See, look, they're... they're, um, they're like oh, it they actually kind of looks like a buffalo I mean, or a bison. Oh, that's amazing. It's just because their chocolate was very thick today. And Dia's gone. Mojito. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to Catalina Island Conservancy. We are hoping to see lots and lots of these today. Oh, did you get one of these shirts? <gasps> Cute. Woo. Here is our ride for the day. We are heading out on the two hour eco tour with Catalina Island Conservancy. Let's see some bison and some little foxes too. The building here on your left is the new addition to the Zane Gray Pueblo Hotel. The one on the right, that was his original res residence where he lived. And as you guys know, Zane Gray wrote over a hundred novels and well over a thousand short stories on top of his movie producing career as well. Look out here to the east. You guys see that landmass that's right out there, and it's about one o'clock. That is Rancho Palos Verdes. That is the closest landmass to Catalina Island. So if you look at about three o'clock there, you guys see that point that jets out right over there? Mm -hmm. That is Long Point. That makes our island eight miles wide, and our island is eight miles wide by 22 miles long. If you come to the left to about two o'clock, you're going to see a hill with a tower on it. That is Mount Blackjack. And if you come further to the left, you're going to see a flat top hill right up there about one o'clock. That is Mount Orizabo. That is the highest point on Catalina Island at 2,102 feet. Anything at Let's hay get some intel. Thank you. Oh, there's All bison. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, when they're fighting each other that, um, and they hit, that vertebra will act as a backboard. It'll prevent the neck from snapping. And if you look at the back of the defensive and offensive lineman's shoulder pads, you're going to find a foam roller there. So that's the bison's contribution to American football. But the entire herd came down here, took over the recreation area, and displaced a lot of our 4th of July and bison. Memorial Day picnickers. <laughs> They're all over the place. I know. <laughs> you guys, uh, what's on the side of the Buffalo Bills football helmet? 
A bison. bison. <laughs> what is on the side? You know, what was on our nickel at one point? Bison. A bison. Yeah, that's not a buffalo. <laughs> Stop here at Catalina Island Airport in the sky. Told they have restrooms, not just these restrooms, but real restrooms. Cookies and things. <laughs> oh, here on the other side of this building, when we walk by a bar, they got some cornhole views. Here's where they keep their D's. <laughs> I've been in the back of the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, I'm riding shotgun today, and you're in the back with Sarah. It's fun. Oh, here in the bar, they got Jenga, they got Connect 4. Well, this place is bigger than I was expecting. Uh, look at all these refreshing snacks. They got coconut, like paleta bars. I see Rice crispy Treats. What does airport in the sky? Apparently it smells like coconut, mango, and sea salt. Wow, cool. I am bison. Wow. Well, this is fun. Yeah, we did not stop here last time we did this tour. I think it was kind of optional. Well, back to the ride. Okay. So we're going to come up right next to him again, but um, no, this is this is now the second day in the row he's done this. Has he ever rammed? No, no, he doesn't care. Hi, buddy. Hello, I had a feeling he would just gonna be back here. They just regraded the road, brought all this soft dirt, and now the bison wanna get out in the road, they wanna wallow in it. Because that means that they don't have to scrape off all the plants and all that kind of stuff. But are you guys looking at the bottom of the hooves now? Yeah. Can you see that, there, how nice and smooth they are? You guys get your bison Hi, selfies? Friend. Pretty cool. Oh, Bye, son. <laughs> wow. Avalon proper. We are smelling all the smells coming from the Rotary Club chili cook-off right now. Well, we have located Coyote Joe's. Oh no, they closed at 2 o'clock until 5 o'clock and that's what we're finding is a lot of places have closed for lunch at 2 o'clock. Oops. Okay, Maggie's Blue Rose appears to be open. Actually, they are closed for lunch also, but they do have a happy hour snack menu, so I am good with that. There is live music at the chili cook-off, wow. Yeah, look at these orange fish. We can get a closer view of them from here. We learned the names of these. I'm gonna swim right here. What is it, a Garibaldi? Yeah, Garibaldi. There it comes. That's our ride. Bye, orange fish. We gotta come get on our orange lifeboat. And we're back. So, Catalina Island Day, how was your bison experience? Still one of my favorite tours ever. I just love, yeah. like, being in the Jeep and the wind in your hair and mm. going up the bumpity bumpity hills and mm. stuff and just learning the history of the area and why the bison are there, seeing them, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's nature. We did see some, which was awesome. Yeah, not as many as last time. No. But we got real up close that drive-by. Mm. Yeah, but they have like a couple different ones, you like two hour and three hour tours. Yeah. So the three hour, you're probably more likely to see more of them because you have more time, but That's we true. didn't have that much time. It was amazing though. I would do it again and again yeah yeah and hanging out with sarah we always oh, hang I love out sarah. With sarah. <laughs> but i guess oh okay let's go ahead now we said we're including more in this video so let's go ahead and throw it to shower chat all right take it away past hey. jay <laughs> <laughs> 
And now it is time for In the Shower with Jay. Nordam edition. Let's look at this damn shower, okay? <laughs> Now, excuse the fact that we have used it, but anyway, when I first looked at this, I was like, OMG, bathtub. Now, grab bar, grab bar, clothesline, um, adjustable, removable shower head, which is always appreciated, products in the uh, tub, which are appreciated, nice little snack shelf. It's a little low. You got to, you know, <laughs> get some squats in if you want to get your snacks off of that shelf. Uh, controls are pretty easy. You got hot, cold, on, off, and then a little boop to bring the uh, water up to the shower head. You know, pretty good for a tub, I must say. Now, at first, I was frightened of this tub because tubs on cruise ships in the past have been bad for me. But what I have determined is the height, approximately, of this tub from floor to ceiling is six foot six inches. So that leaves me one inch at the top of my head for, you know, wiggy, wiggy, wiggy and around. If you are 6'6 six, six or taller, you're gonna have to get some squats in to use this particular tub. But I actually had a good time. So height-wise for me, good. Space-wise, okay. You know, the side-to-side -side is good. The front-to-back, when you whoop to get all your mm-hmms <laughs> and the shower curtain's closed, I kinda have to put my face on the shower curtain, but not bad. So let's go into the spreadsheet, find a score. Here it is. Whoa. Eh. Now it is time for final thoughts. So we're gonna try to do overall thoughts of Nordam, obviously, overall thoughts of our first Holland America experience in Alaska. Let's go. Yeah, so Nordam is a lovely ship. It's a little bit on the smaller side, which is great. This was 14 days, so mm. a different kind of crowd um, overall, you know, um, more seasoned cruisers, I would say, for sure. That's a good way to put it. No, I mean, it was good. It was a good mix of people. Um, the crew on the ship are amazing. Mm. After 21 days living on the ship, we pretty much felt like family we did. at all times. Everybody knows your name, and they're just exceptional, exceptional at what they do. The food is some of the best we've ever had on any cruise line, honestly. Yeah, it's in just, the very top. They're leading the pack kind of yeah. right now. They're in my top three <laughs> anyway. Mostly the portions are decent and they give you lots of vegetables, which is so good. I do love vegetables. Yeah. Holland America is a good cruise line for music. Um, mm -hmm. so like any type of music you want to hear, they probably have it at some point. So they're really in the music industry, the scene for that. Um, that was the best band I've ever heard, the rock band. Oh, in the lounge. So sad they're not actually a band all the time together because they, they're amazing. They broke up at the end of our California Coastal Cruise and went their separate ways. So. Yeah. And as far as Holland and Alaska, we wanted to try all the different cruise lines and see what it's like. Yeah. It's great, especially if you have Glacier Bay. They do mm. a lot of extras for that, like the pea soup and the bringing the rangers on board and doing the talks and a wrap up and a map of it and just the scenic beautiful vistas not a vista i don't know you know but the scenery that you see all day like the they bow, tell so you all you about it, it the bow exactly they do a lot of extras for that so i don't have any more words that's it <laughs> great overall experience really i think because people always say what's our favorite line for going to alaska and holland would definitely be mm -hmm. i'm gonna say holland is in my top three for food and my top three of uh, cruise lines that go to alaska Absolutely, yeah so, would we do Holland again? Heck yeah! Yeah! I don't really have any more words either other than thanks to Holland for everything they did for us. Because yes. all of these ship excursions were provided by Holland. They also gave us internet uh, service so that yeah. we could communicate back and forth. Like the Negroni tasting came from Holland. You know, Holland really took care of yeah, us. Yeah, you guys are amazing. This thank you. So definitely thank you to Holland for that. Um, that's about all I've got to say. So, Thanks for hanging out for a whole heck of a lot of Nordam fun. But hopefully you learned more about Holland America as a cruise line in general, yeah. and we'll pick it for your next voyage, because it's really good. And it's not just for more seasoned cruisers, as we would say. It's for the whole family, especially their new Pinnacle Class ships. Mm. Honestly, they're beautiful, the and Cafe. we'll be getting on one again soon. Yeah, so we'll we will. See. We will. We will. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, thanks for hanging out. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time, rock, rock on. on.